inspiration behind a floral mule. And we wanted to bring on something that had ingredients that people recognize and love. So we are going to be doing a floral mule and the ingredients are Kettle One Vodka or you could use Tito's. I would not use Absolute Elix because it's a lot more expensive. So keep it down to something like Kettle One, Tito's, Stoli, etc. But do not do Absolute. Um, then we have ginger beer. This is also by 1821. If you guys ever run out, you can use Fever Tree or Gosling, but nothing else. It does need to be non-alcoholic ginger beer. We also have rose water, which we can get at any like Asian supermarket. I would stick to getting something from there and not from any other supermarket, just because it's a little bit more potent, and we want that floral aftertaste. Then we have grapefruit juice, which is new to our lineup, which means it's another fresh ingredient for you guys to have to squeeze and you know take care of daily. We also have lime juice again, and our garnish is going to be dried rosebuds. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna start off with two ounces of our vodka. We try to make this one really simple for you guys, so there's no secondary spirit in here, it's only vodka. Then it's half an ounce each of the lime juice and grapefruit juice. And then this is the part that gets a little bit confusing. We're gonna do something called a float. So we are going to use our bar spoon. Always use the skinnier one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one bar spoon of rose water that's gonna go inside your cocktail mixture and the rest of the rose water is gonna go in the top layer. So all we're gonna shake is just what's in here right now. So we're gonna shake it a little bit, get this a good shake. And our glass for this is our rocks glass and we're gonna be putting in two one by one inch ice cubes. Do not use normal ice because you're not going to get the level that you want and your drink will be diluted a lot quicker. So we have a lot of citrus going on in here, so of course we're double straining. Next up, you're going to take that rose water that we talked about earlier and you are going to take one more bar spoon of it. And in a circular motion, you're going to let it fall into your drink. The reason for the float is because people are gonna get aromatics from your drink every time they lean down to take a sip of it. So that's why it should be in a circular motion and not just on top of your top ice cube. Then we are gonna take our ginger beer. The reason for why this was not in your shaker is because anything carbonated will explode. So you're gonna just top it off with ginger beer. And our garnish is a dried rose petal or rose bud. Just take a few, don't take too many because we don't want them to get caught in people's throats. So just gonna put it on top and if you can manage to float it directly in your ice cube, even better. This is gonna be served with two of your small cocktail um, stirrers and this is the final rose. 